Okay, we're given the graph of f of x, and we want to use that to estimate the value of f prime of negative 1 to one decimal place. So looking at this function, what we're looking at is we're told an x value of negative 1. So finding that point on our graph, it's going to correspond to that point negative 1, negative 2. Now, when we're trying to figure out that value for f prime of negative 1, what we're talking about is the slope of the tangent line to the graph at that speci uh, specified point. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this in. And I would encourage you to draw the tangent line in as well so you can kind of see what it looks like. It makes this a lot easier. All right, so as we look at that, I've gone ahead and I've drawn at least one unit away from the one that we care about to the left and to the right. So it looks to me like we do intersect a few important points here. It looks like it's right about negative 2, 0 and 0, negative 4, if we like using those ordered pairs. Now, now that we have some points that are on our line, we could use negative 1, negative 2, but I'm going to elect to use those uh, outer points. We can fill into y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. In our case, I'm going to go negative 4 minus 0, the difference of the y values, over the difference of the x values, so 0 minus a negative 2. With a little bit of simplifying, that's going to be negative 4 over positive 2, which makes negative 2 for that slope of that tangent line. Um, another way you could visualize this is think rise over run. Let's say we started with this uppermost point on my line, the negative 2, 0. Rise over run, you can make this into a counting problem where we count down 1, 2, 3, 4. So down 4 would correspond with negative 4 and to the right 1, 2, which should correspond with positive 2. A little bit of simplifying down and we get to that exact same slope, negative 2. So we can answer this question, f prime of negative 1 is going to correspond with negative 2 as an output. So the slope of the tangent line at that specified x value is going to be negative 2. Draw the lines in, it really does help as you're working on finding the slopes of tangent lines or f prime of different values of x.